Thought the God of wisdom guides my path through the desert of my soul. The sands of time shift and swirl as I search for truth and meaning. Marked by the eye of Horus, I see the secrets of ancient Egypt. The pyramids hold the key to unlocking my inner power. I am a mystic, a shaman of the unknown. I dance between worlds, I am not alone. With every step, I awaken my soul and embrace the power within me. I dive deep into the unknown and discover my true purpose. The spirits of my ancestors guide my way as I journey through the stars. I am connected to all that is. And my heart sings with all belong. Okay, so we got some weird stuff going on this week. All right, so fights being canceled, fights being changed, fights, who knows who, what's going on. Okay, but this is what I got so far. So from Tepology, we got a fight confirmed. It hasn't changed since yesterday. And I'm assuming it's going to be one of the top three. So, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I, I don't think they're going to, I don't think Danny's going to accept a fight out of nowhere without, you know, getting paid pretty good for it. So they're gonna have to put him up on the close to the main event to get that money to make sense in the the way they do business. Okay, so you pretty much guarantee this is gonna be top three, one of the top three fights. I'm saying. Now the others we don't know. I'm gonna wait till maybe later to see what I can figure out, make sure which ones are the top three fights and which ones are not. Uh, it might not come out to Wednesday, but I'm pretty sure the main event it's you know obvious. That's confirmed. We know that, right? Spivak. Okay. But anyways, let's get to these two fighters, okay? We have Danny Barlow, Nikolay, Bertinakov. Hey, I assume I said that right. All right, so here we go. Here's some information. 29. <clears throat> Leo, August 2nd. Stall, 6'2". 79 inch reach, long reach. It's from Tennessee. Okay. Nicole. 34. December 22nd. Uh, Capricorn. Like barely on the cusp, right? Um, he's from Kazakhstan. 6.74 inch reach, so there's not too much of a difference. There's a little bit, not too much on this fight. So the fighters are closer to what kind of body types they are. Uh, Nicolay's not a chump, right? Look. Okay. He beats people. Nothing too special, but he beats people. Okay, But so does Danny Barlow. Alright. Last year, Christian, I don't know what's that. Uh, that's a, a jujitsu competition. Okay, that's fine. Um, so his jujitsu game isn't top notch. That's what that says. But it might be one day, or he might be working on it. I don't know. Or he has gotten top notch since then. Who knows? But he's a stand up fighter winner. Like, he'll go to the ground and he'll get against the cage with fighters. But his most of his wins are kind of like finishes are coming from punches in the head, TKO, KO, TKO, you know, ground and pound maybe or something, uh, finishing him off after knocking him out, or like 
dazing and confusing them, right? With a good punch or something, kick or whatever, and then just finishing them off. Okay. Nicole. Same thing, except for he's got some submit recent submission here. Ground and pound. Head kick. Okay. So, so, so there's some weapons here from these two fighters, some weapons with their wins. They've shown, okay. Alright, let's get into the information you're here for. So we have Nicolay. My instincts say Danny Barlow wins. Nicolay's in a Saturn. And he's in Mercury. Nicolay has a career win, so this will be an impressive fight for him, I assume. Danny Barlow has a money win, so yeah, an obvious performance from him. Typical performance from him. Um, Nine of Diamonds. Uh, Jack Club, so he, he can switch between them, or he can be a little mix of these two. Shadow Love Challenges. Okay, so he's got Shadow Love Challenges in this Nine of Diamonds for this Saturn period. Um, because he's the Jack of Diamonds for both on his birthday here, Danny Barlow, it's the same thing, money win, okay? So he's just centerline focus type person. And, like, it's hard for him not to be centerline focused, in other words. Like, for him to not... For him to, like, be chill and relax is hard for him. Because he always, he's probably always focused on doing the right thing or going forward in his life with Danny Barlow I'm talking about. That's what I'm seeing here. The long range. Okay, so look. Since I did so bad last, last weekend, we're going to address that right now. Because I went one and uh, two out of my predictions. And I, I sounded pretty bad if you looked at it the wrong way. Here's the thing, I didn't, there's a lot more information I can add and dive into that I'm not adding and developing into yet because I don't want to, I want to kind of like present this with people as a learning experience with them if they ever watch, go back and watch this or if they are watching this. I want people to understand the, the way to go about this and how I went about this, all right? So that way if anyone asks me, oh, how did you do it? I'm going to be like, go oh, watch my videos. <laughs> Don't ask me. Go watch my videos. And you can learn everything you need to know about me. All right. But anyways, here it is. Okay, look. We're going to add long range. There's other information I can add as well if I wanted to. But I'm trying to find that perfect amount of information that's not too much, but just enough. You know what I mean? So that's why another reason why I'm doing this. And so there's more information, more dials, more things I can work on to make my predictions more accurate. All right. So here we go, we have long range information about these two. What that means is how the year will play out or how the year is going to fill or challenge them or what's the meaning or like the plot of the year for their life right now that they're in, okay? So this year of their life, we've got um, Nicolay with Shadow Mastery developing leader of the new age year with good money, okay? And then over here, we have Danny Barlow Okay. As year of blessed ending. Oh, wait. Go back up. Long range is secure foundation for the future. So that's his long range information about this year. He's securing the future. He's securing a foundation for the future. So he's going to potentially be a world champ. A UFC champ. Okay. Danny Barlow has UFC championship material right now. Year of blessed ending. Okay. Caution. Wish fulfillment. Recognition, fame, and business success. So I've also looked into future years with him, and I'm telling you, Danny Barlow has got uh, a trajectory to win a championship within the next two years. All right, so there's that. Uh, what weight class are they fighting? They're 170 welterweight. So yeah, he looks like a welterweight champion right there, or a contender at least. Like top five potential next year, within the two next two years. Um, that's Danny Barlow right there. So he's got wish fulfillment, recognition, fame, and business success. He's on his way up, guys. He's a Leo, 
He's fighting a Capricorn on his way out. He's a developing leader of the New Age, so he might have a career in the UFC or in the MMA some way. Like long-term leadership career kind of thing for Nikolay and where he's from in Kazakhstan. You know, so he'll play a role out there from that region. Or however that works out for the potential of UFC being global. You know, they're going to have to expand in all different kinds of ways. So if they want to continue this trend of uh, expansion on the UFC, there's multiple angles and ways they can develop and expand. So, you know, start move, making other gyms in other parts of the world or something. I don't know. But uh, we got transit scores. Nikolay's at a negative four. And I, I think I'm trying to tweak or correct my dials with astrology transit scores so you know i'm gonna see if i can get better at that i think i'm a little off i'm quite a bit off at times sometimes i was pretty accurate with the ufc 304 and Bilal muhammad though um but with the last weekend i was pretty i was off i felt like so i'm gonna try to increase that but look at this professional affinity score 25 percent. these guys are not gonna like each other they're gonna want to hurt each other this is going to be one of those fights. This is probably a fight of the night bonus I'm seeing here. And then I'm predicting loss on Nicolay. And then KO, TKO, sub, or decision for Danny Barlow. Uh, and he's going to show he's got, he can take punches and roll with them and stuff like that. And whatever he does, he's going to, he's going to take it and he'll be fine. But he's going to win. So there you go. And then we're going to move on to Tarot. Let's do it. Oh, wait, no, before Tarot, I forgot their scores and their astrology here. Okay, here we go. Here we go, Nicolay. There's the transit scores. Here you go, here's the scores and how I scored them. Remember, you can always leave a comment. You don't have to like ignore, and you can add your two cents and see if it helps, you know? I'm down to take two cents and see if it helps. So if you wanna leave a comment, leave a comment, tell me what you think. All right, so here's the other person, Danny Barlow. All right, transits. This is the best I can get it, you guys. The most accurate I can try to get it. It's probably not very accurate at all, but <laughs> it's the most accurate you can get it. So there's Danny Barlow and his transit score and how I calculated it. And then here's their affinity score. It might be a little higher or lower. Remember that, because I don't have their exact birth time. So that's the thing you gotta remember. When making these astrology predictions, you, if you don't have the exact birth time and when they were born, you, you know, there's a good chance you're probably gonna be off. All right, so just throwing that out there, letting you know, this is not an easy calculation information game I'm playing right now, okay? But we're gonna work on it and we're gonna develop it and we're gonna keep going. So there's that. Now the tarot, let's go. So I have Epic Deck here for Nikolai and I have the Cosmic deck here for Danny. All right, let's start with Nikolai and shuffle this epic deck. Okay, here we go. We got what Nikolai, the five of spheres is his energy of like determination, willpower, um, balancing the scales of injustice, 
the knight in shining armor comes to save the day out of nowhere uh, with the answers and the clues. That kind of energy is what's going on with Nikolai. Nikolai has the spirit though of dragging of spheres in reverse, so he's not actually going with the flow of the universe and God or whatever he wants to believe in. He's kind of in friction and contraction or contradiction, which will bur contraction will birth a new him. Uh, his mind, his intellectual aspect is the nine of books in reverse. So he's stubborn. He thinks he knows best. He's not changing his mind. He has a plan. He's stuck with it. He's continuing to stick with it. Uh, his heart is the never-ending story of MMA. He'll fight like this for the rest of his life when he's 80, <laughs> if he has to. Uh, never-ending story of MMA, but that's the issue. He's holding so tightly, he doesn't see that uh, maybe if he were to adapt a little more or something, I don't know what it is, through this fight or with this fight, He's going to adapt, of course, and he's going to open up and let go, maybe because of the loss or because of a win or because of a hard fight win, whatever it is, there's some kind of um, opening up going to happen with this. And he has this projection mirror, uh, mirror issue, what things aren't what they seem when it comes to social aspect of himself. He thinks it's Kazakhstan or his people against the world, maybe, or his religion or his beliefs or whatever he's attached to. Um, in his life that gives him a sense of identity um it's it's not what it seems and the never-ending story isn't just about mma maybe there's more he can present as a teacher or elder um to others in the future and he's not seeing because he wants to continue to win and maybe win a championship or whatever it is he's fighting for the money maybe um the legacy uh whatever it is um so that's where nikolai is at and that's his reading Let's move on. So, with our other contender here, Danny Barlow, Princess of Swords, this, with this uh, fight, we have like a defending or fighting for or protecting or, you know, this is the energy, like the sense or the feeling, you know, like when people go to work and fight for their family to have things, right? That's that kind of energy to fight for his feminine side of his identity his life mother wife anybody in his any females in his life is part of his identity so that's what he's fighting for maybe children female little girls sisters it could be anything that has to do with female he's protecting that his his uh, emotions his desires his true wishes his his heart where everything comes from and his power his ace pinnacles so desire for like that top 15 paydays and those main events and stuff like that and the championship that's on his heart he has the eight of cups in his spirits so kind of like uh when, when am i gonna get my turn um counting you know all his cups that have spilt over but see standing with his four cups stabilizing him or sitting with them and then seeing all the missed opportunities or um failed promises uh this could also have to do with the ancestral energies the political stuff the he said she said my family your family oh they did this we did this they got and they, we don't you know the whole you know world of what we fight for and don't fight for stuff 
his mind is in reverse, okay, with the people are throwing swords at me. So this is one of two things. This is either him releasing those swords and seeing that people aren't out to get him, which I think is probably true, or he is thinking that they are, and that's not true at all because there are nobody throwing swords at him. So it's either a release of them or it's either a, a not release of them, and he thinks that there are swords when there are no swords being thrown at him. Okay, so I think it's one of it's maybe a mixture of both because of the whole political social atmosphere with the ace of wands in reverse. But the tower here in the physical form or the 3D, the money, the finances, the tower in reverse is kind of like a resistance or uh, maybe he thought the tower would fall on him and it doesn't. Uh, maybe he thinks the judge's decision will go against him because, you know, whatever political X, Y, and Z, emotional, whatever, spiritual. He, I don't think he really understands or truly believes one way or the other. I think it's just a, a, a thing that's going on in his life. And he's trying to adapt and evolve with that. And this is the Ace of Wands in reverse with his social game, okay? So, like, not doing so well with the new um, passionate social frontier. Because, you know, that's going to be part of a champion's life is a big important part. Like, all these champions, they have to deal with that big social game, okay? So that that's where the friction is. He's kind of almost in his own way a little bit, in a sense, because of this. And it's not a tower like it sh he he's gonna fall apart and lose. It's a tower of like metamorphosis or transitioning from one phase of your life to another because he just got done with the Saturn return and that's a lot. So or he is finishing it. And that's a lot for everybody to deal with, whatever you are in your life or whatever you're dealing with. So, and then, you know, this elder over here, that's gonna be a role model, potentially, for people in the future, where whatever he does with his life. Nikolai, you know, so this is, I honestly, after watching, looking through this, this is probably gonna go to decision. And I think Ballerlo is gonna get two out of three rounds. Uh, but they're going to be a hard fought, tough three rounds for both fighters. Um, but I could be wrong. We could get a TKO round one in five seconds. I don't know. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like, there's no guaranteed here. This is my imagination. Once again, I'm going to remind everybody this is just me and an imagination with the information I've gathered. Okay. I'm not an expert or professional yet. Uh, that may come when I'm 44 and three years stay tuned uh but we'll see we'll see where this goes what happens we'll play with things we'll have fun that's what life's about uh don't take it too serious like i'm trying to summon demons or i'm trying to win the lottery against god or some crazy shit okay don't be a delusional person please please be a loving compassionate person i'd appreciate it subscribe like and share and all those amazing things you do because you are an amazing human being who is love and compassionate and resonates with uh you know all those good things that the spirituality teaches you right all right so with that, that's going to conclude it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.